got ourselves a new espresso machine. We're very happy with the one we have. So we got this espresso machine like two Christmases ago and we love it. We're very happy with it. However, there is this, they have one espresso that we like and that's about it for milk. And the deal I've made with myself is like once this espresso gets cut out, then we're gonna upgrade to a different espresso machine and they, we went to order it this past week we couldn't order it and we kind of just bit the bullet but we have lots of pods left and so yeah we probably should wait until the pods are gone before we open the new one and use it but like who's gonna do that so she's just sitting here staring at me and taunting me look at her just taunting me i think we're gonna open it feels nice because our coffee thing is simpler like we're ready to take a lot off of here but now I have to figure out how to set this guy up and make him work okay so we have our quick start guide before use it talks about rinse everything it comes with a water filter which I think is really cool because then we don't have to worry about putting filtered water in there it just filters it itself so I'm soaking the water filter for five minutes and then these are my instructions <laughs> So I'm gonna try and make sense of it. Maybe it has like words somewhere. Maybe I'm supposed to just be smart enough to figure it out. It's like infographics. Okay, we're good, we're good. Remove and discard all labels. We've got this. Okay friends, I have done like seven attempts at this point, but I think we're getting close. We're gonna do one more try before I give up and take a break, but one more. Here we go. First cappuccino, first sip. Okay, it's totally drinkable. I like the milk. I think the espresso could be perfected, but to me it's still better than what we were getting with an espresso, in my humble opinion. So, pretty excited. We have a little bit of like artistry to do, but not mad. The little and I are going to go for a little walk around the neighborhood. I'm gonna try and see what else blooming right now. Man, that bush is beautiful. My cap has not really so <laughs> Oh, there's shadow. That looks like I'm wearing a regular cap. Oh, you know what that smell is? There's a certain kind of tree that makes that smell. All right, so we are dressed and getting ready to head into the office. I honestly am like, just not styling my hair today. <laughs> I just can't be bothered. But I did put this headband in, so I look like I styled my hair. I'm just wearing this blazer with my, these are, jeans are from American Eagle. They're like the super high waist curvy. I think this tank top is from Target and then Birdies. Also, can we talk about this? It's open window season and I'm like so 
over the moon about it. Like, couldn't be happier. Life is good. We're moving in the right direction. Let's go to the office. Okay, so we are at the office, all set up. Today's really just like, it's Monday, so I'm doing like all the things I need to do to get the week ready. So I have a podcast to write and record. I'm gonna get the Instagram content together for the rest of the week. My email is crazy right now. I cleaned it out on Friday and it's already like bonkers. And then I need to outline some workshops for the week, record a video, and send out some invoices, so should be pretty chill but there is a lot to do i have kind of switched up my schedule my routine a little bit because i am working on a book proposal for my next book and my creative energy is just like not here in the afternoons but is there in the morning i have flexibility with my schedule and i'm big on if it's not working for you then you need to switch it up and it was not working for me <laughs> the way it was um so i'm kind of taking all the mornings this week off to be creative and feed my creative energy and then i can be more productive in the afternoon so it's a, i'm starting this at like 1 p.m but i think it'll be fine i just need to i will and can just like buckle down and get it done i'll show you what my inbox looks like. So again, this was at nothing on Friday. Like I cleaned this out on Friday and this is where we're at now. So cute. So yeah, I'm just gonna buckle down, knock this stuff out and keep going. Hello everyone, happy Tuesday. Today we are walking through five practical tips for increasing our compassion. All right, so work is done for me. Mondays are usually just like an admin day where I kind of get the grasp for what the week's gonna look like and if I've set realistic goals, which I think I have. I think it's gonna be all right. Tonight is kind of just like the night that I make dinner and BS class from 5.30 to 8.30 on Monday nights. And so the little and I just kind of have dinner together, play a game. I'm gonna make some tortilla soup. Um, I think it'll be a fun night. Tell me, are you like this? If it says four garlic cloves, do you also think that means six? I'm gonna end today here and I'll, I'll see you guys tomorrow on Tuesday, bright and early. are um, in class right now so you could hear their sounds totally normal that's what's going on let me bring you down lower so my anxiety woke me up at like 5 30 this morning so i have been up for a minute just now having coffee honestly like the new machine we're getting it figured out like this is the best one i've had it is 10 30 and i've been up for like what, five hours? So it didn't take me all five hours to dial the coffee in. I took a break, came back, finally kind of feel like we've honed in on something good. We had a good coffee yesterday too, but we're just kind of navigating the new system. I think we'll get it. Like right now I'm not 100% sure that we will, but I'm, I believe we will. Once we figure this out and like make sure that we're gonna love it, we will get rid of our Nespresso, but right now we're kind of still holding on to it just in case things go awry. But right now it's better than the Nespresso to me already. Today, I really did like just woke up and had lots of ideas and plans and anxieties and just needed to get up and 
do them, deal with them. So I made some plans and had breakfast and coffee and I'm reading the Kama Sutra right now, which is kind of funny. It feels more like reading a history book than it is like juicy, you know what I mean? It's just more like weird time period, weird traditions, really specific expectations and rules. Almost funny, I'm having fun with that. Today is a pretty relaxed day. I'm gonna make some vegetable broth. We used up the last of the vegetable broth that we had for soup last night and then our veggie bag is like totally full and then I'm gonna go to work today is a workshop writing day I just gonna write all the workshops I'm gonna record this week and then I'm probably gonna try and go for a walk and get on the peloton so should be pretty fun wish me luck on this guy we'll try again tomorrow and this afternoon and see what see what happens <laughs> but I always think this is so pretty. Just like all the different colors and like little, I don't know, different textures and stuff. That might be weird. for a walk. All right, so we are at the office. It is about 1.30. I have a YouTube video to film, podcast to record, some workshops to write, a video to record for a promo for a workshop I'm teaching somewhere else, I work on my webinar. We're launching insider tickets for people who did the Enneagram Summit last year. So I need to set that up and I need to design a sweatshirt for Enneagram type six. And then once that's all done, I have a little bit of vaccination stuff to do. We're getting vaccinated tomorrow, so I just need to do our paperwork for that. And then the day is done and I can go home. Shouldn't be too bad. All right, we are all packed up, done for the day, and ready to head home. everybody so it is Wednesday I'm just gonna sit here have my breakfast a little avocado on English muffins read my book and then I'm gonna try and knock out a bunch of work this morning it's almost 9 already I have my meeting with my assistant Jenny hi Jenny at 10 and then we leave to go get our vaccines probably around 12:30 ish so I'm kind of in um, back to back rush mode a little bit but i'm gonna try and just take a few minutes to myself eat this toast breathe read this book chill out it is so good i actually think avocado and english muffin is better on toast try it and tell me if you agree we were talking about this book yesterday and i think it's really funny how it describes things like the citizen surrounded by his friends and servants shall invite the woman he desires bathed and beautifully dressed into the perfumed room decorated with flowers that he re reserves for such pleasure once amongst his friends he must offer her refreshments and invite her to drink deeply and freely of the heady wines he serves on such occasions he should make her sit on his left side and swiftly run his hand over her hair and touch the knot of her robe it's like so specific and so interesting hi how's it going yeah, you too. I feel like it's been 30 years. Yeah. You want to see Jenny? Yeah, you want to see Jenny? Yeah, yeah he's, um, he's like full-time in the business now. and Full-time? Yeah. <laughs> So we 
we are going to get vaccinated. I am just gonna wear this, it's like Wild Fable from Target. I bought this from Jenny. I think she got it at Target maybe. Jeans or American Eagle, birdies. Hair is just what it is. All right, we are heading out. Where we're getting vaccinated is about an hour away. We're gonna drop our little off at his mom's house and then head on to vaccination station. Walgreens. Is it the Moderna? It is the Moderna. I don't even know why I asked. I... Yeah, it's okay. I know people are going to ask me, that's why. Yes, people are going to ask me. It's deep breath in and deep breath out. This is the most socializing we've done in a year. Really? So it's very exciting. <laughs> so that was pretty like easy. We waited longer than the shot took. The shot was like nothing really. What did you think? Uh, it was easy. They said it was going to go into the muscle, but it didn't really feel that way to me. Amazing. Not much. So let's go home. <laughs> out what I'm gonna wear for today I pulled together an outfit that I'm pretty excited about or that I'm like happy to wear I've like this leopard skirt and this short sleeve turtleneck but I have a new newly that came in so we're just gonna see if there's anything I'm more excited to wear it's new I also wanted to give you guys an update about my vaccine like how I'm feeling so I got vaccinated yesterday and I had like immediately a metallic taste in my mouth, which they said was a thing that happens, but is so rare that they don't even put it on like the common symptoms list. And then my arm is really sore. My arm didn't get sore though until this morning. Like I didn't feel that yesterday at all. The other thing that I experienced, I just kind of felt weird in my body. like a little lethargic, but not, nothing that like prevented me from like driving home or feeling normal in that way. Um, I just kind of felt a little bit off. And even now, like maybe my face will feel a little bit weird here and there, but nothing crazy. But yeah, otherwise I feel, I feel pretty good. So they say that the first round will feel kind of normal and then their second one's the rough one. So we'll see. So this is what we got in our newly. This is a dress. That's pretty fun. We also have another dress. I did a lot of spring stuff, maybe prematurely, but why not? And this is another dress. It's like long sleeved and then it kind of flares out and has a little split. That's pretty, pretty cute. Ooh, and I got these joggers. I was really excited about these. They're like, they taper down, but they're like pretty billowy. Sweater skirt. I like this little detail and it kind of probably will hit me like right here, which I think will be nice. And then what else? I don't even remember. Oh, this one was fun. It's like a tank top, but it's like ruffled around here and a little, little easy tank. And then the final one is this blazer from Ralph Lauren. And it's like blue striped. So that's pretty fun. Yeah, maybe I'll wear one of these today. This might be a fun combo. Maybe this is like too much. I'll show you what I, what I end up choosing. Okay, so I actually ended up going with the pants, the joggers, cause it's a rainy day today and I really just wanna feel cozy. I'm letting my hair be wild. This shirt is from Universal Standard and I tied it in the back. It has kind of like a split open back. Um, so I tied it. I might loosen it a little bit. And the pants are from Anthropology. I like this little like button detail right there. And then I'm not sold on the shoes necessarily, but these are birdies. Eh, I feel fine with this outfit, but it's comfortable. So. Oh, oh. <laughs> Did you give it a oh. <laughs> that is just what. <laughs> Hello, I, this is a 
the first time I've let my hair be like fully curly since I cut bangs. I don't know how I feel about it. So today I'm decided to just work from home. It's like a thunderstormy day outside and it's just like nice and cozy here. I have some espresso and we're just gonna get to work. I'm working on mostly Brave Collective things today. So I have some workshops I wanna write. I have some resources I wanna check in on for them. I'm scheduling our next live call today and then I have some podcasts recording to do. I need to record the ad for tomorrow's podcast. I need to write and record Monday's podcast and upload May's Brave Kit to Brave Collective, things like that. And then hopefully I'll get to work on my webinar for Brave Collective, I'm writing a new webinar. So we're gonna sit here nice and cozy get to work. We are still trying to get this dialed in, the espresso. Let's see. Not bad. This is my favorite so far. So now we're going back to my little work hole. We're gonna drink this and try and get some more things done. I finished writing my podcast and now it's just more like logistic type stuff. Let's look at it together. We have, yeah, I just need to check in with Brave Collective, their Facebook. I need to create a checkout page for a new offer and upload a Brave kit, so. Um, a little vaccine update is that the arm is like definitely sore. That redness that it promised and swelling is there, but I mean, that's not too bad. I also got a package in the mail that I'm excited about. My bullet journal for April, probably the next quarter, April, May, June. And it's from Archer and Olive. It comes in this like really pretty box. It's like very fancy. really pretty i like the textures like linen um and it has a pin thing which is cool it's also like pretty thick like there's a lot of pages the only thing i'm gonna miss is that the loitrum has like page numbers and i really appreciated that but otherwise it feels really nice like the paper's really thick and Feels very fancy. And it has the pocket. Also got a single marker <laughs> from my order with them. And it's like this light pink shade. It'll be fun. Hello, happy Friday. So I'm kind of toying with the curls right now. I'm just kind of re-wet and put some serum in my hair and We'll see how it feels. Today, it's Friday, it's the last day of our vlog. It's a pretty chill day. I have to film a video, I have to film my plan with me video for April. I'm gonna work on my book proposal. I just finished the Kama Sutra, so I'm gonna switch it out for a new nonfiction book. Nothing too exciting, but we'll hang out anyway. Yeah, let's switch that book out, come on. So the way that I'm reading through the shelf is like shelf by shelf by shelf. So I have finished all of these and then I'm finished all of these so now we're kind of moving this way and i really just need to like block off what i have read already from what i intend to read so I, what i'm going to do now is kind of go through this section right here and put all the books that i've already read to the left and then we'll move over So these are the ones on this section I've already read. I turned this one sideways just to mark my place. And then these are the ones that I haven't read all the way through. So like this one I've read a large portion of, but I haven't completely finished. Um, a lot of these are Obi's books. Are all of these Obi's books? Yeah, I think all of these are Obi's books. 
except for this one we got for our wedding. I'm gonna read through them anyway. And then these few down here, this was like weirdly religious and I don't really know why we have it or why it's on our shelf. So I'm probably just gonna donate this to like a free library. And then this is a poetry book. What I've decided to do with poetry books is just to read a poem a day until I'm through with it. So I'm gonna do that, but it's not gonna be my nonfiction book right now. I'm going to read this one. I think I bought this at a used bookstore a long time ago and just never really picked it up. I think I've read some of it. Like, I think there's a bookmark in there. Yeah, I've read to like here, but yeah, I'm gonna try it again and we'll see how, we, how it feels. So here's the thing. I packed my car up, was heading to the office and decided, <laughs> You know what I think I just want to work from home I it's like 72 degrees today it feels really nice so I think I'm just gonna work on the side porch outside and enjoy the weather and yeah I'm gonna see if that's functional it's planning day so I kind of need my whiteboard but I can do it on Monday like it's not urgent yeah I think I'm gonna do that so we're gonna look at my task list. I know I have to plan the week, the month, and the quarter, but I also wanna film my plan with me this month and I think I'm just gonna do the bullet journal version of that. And then I need to record and upload some workshops, work on my book proposal, and write and record Monday's podcast. So let's get all of the non-planning type stuff out of the way and the non-book proposal out of the way first and then we'll get to move on because that's kind of the more fun stuff. So we'll do that last. Motivated by personal satisfaction, just feeling good in their life. So I have the best news. I actually already wrote the podcast for Monday. I just need to record it. And you just, you know, you just love when that happens, when you have less work than you think you had. So I'm gonna go sit in the bedroom, record a podcast, and then I th think we're done. Like, I just have to plan. It's just planning and book proposal stuff after that. Super exciting. <laughs> okay friends so i'm going to end the vlog here we have ordered our takeout for friday night we're gonna watch a movie we're gonna play some video games and i'll probably just like take a bath do a face mask and call it a weekend but thank you guys so much for joining me for this week in my life let me know if you enjoy vlog videos like this if you do like all things routine and self-care you should hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any new videos. We do two videos a week, every single week. I will see you in the next one. Bye.